Open up! Open up! Open up! Open the door! Hey! Oh, I see you, uh, didn't bother to put any damn clothes on. This game is called Shadows of Doubt. It's a procedurally generated detective game. It makes an entire city block where every building and every room is explorable, and it's populated with a bunch of people who just go about their day. They all have jobs and homes and places they like to hang out, and occasionally they get murdered. As a detective, it's your objective to go in there and find the gross little body and then rob the place. Uh, well, at least that's what I did. I took whatever I felt like would be interesting to have, but I suppose you could solve the murder mystery too while you're at it. You gotta actually go around and look for clues you're gonna be looking for fingerprints, you're gonna be thumbing through documents, breaking into someone's work and printing off things that might be relevant to the case. And each person is somebody who exists in the world and has a little routine that they do. You build your own evidence board with information you think is relevant. Some of it will be, some of it not so much. This guy just wouldn't let me into his house, so I got mad at him. But anyway, it's a cool game and I recommend checking it out. Okay, goodbye. Huh, find Winter Russ. Okay, so I've got a mysterious letter under my door that says to find Winter Russ. Never heard of that person, but... We have a phone book. Let's see. Huh, guys, using my detective skills, I have deduced that I think that's most likely going to be in the R's for Russ. Let's see, don't tell me that we're going to have multiple W Russes. I swear, if I swap this and there's multiple W Russes, I'm going to scream. We're good. What do you say we get pay a visit to 100, or maybe that's capital I O O four? Not entirely sure, but uh, I'm gonna head down there. All right, let's get out there and be somebody. Oh, hello, creepy sir. Oh my God, what are you doing, dude? Dude, that was like that weird situation where you're like walking towards somebody and you guys both move left and right and left and right, but then he started like. Then he got mad with it and started, like, walking towards me. 1004 Durham. Hello, sir. Where's your shirt at? I think that's a lady with a shirt on, by the way, guys. I think I got... I think I got every single thing about this character wrong. Based on my quick assumption. My bad. Huh, this should be it. I-004 Durham. It's a lot. Now here's the question, do I bust this down or maybe find a vent to go in? Hey! Hey! Are you asleep in there? Well now I feel like a fool. Guys, my context clues weren't kicking in there. Plastic stool. What if I threw this person's object down there and make them think that they live there so they'll come up here and say wait a minute where's my stool what it's what and then their package too well guys let's just hope they did not order like a kitten or something let's hope what the hell we're way up here jump what if i jump i'll die i'm gonna try it Guys, maybe detectives don't feel fall damage. Oh no. If you break your leg and don't get it set, it's not ever gonna heal right. Ugh. Dude, that's one thing I think about sometimes, guys, is how unfortunate it would be to be like a little... pilgrim or something. Like one of those dudes just in the middle of the nowhere back before they had like band-aids like you stub you break your pinky toe off on your little mahogany coffee table that's been in your family's like possession for over 300 years and then you just die all right wait this is still they've got two front doors dude oh my god what guys was i knocking on the wrong door wait Hello? Hey! Ma'am, I'm doing an investigation about about a note that I found under my door. I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Guys, let's, uh, let's go straight for the fingerprints. Could you provide your prints for this investigation I'm doing? Well, I guess if it's an investigation- Oh my god, she has no idea I'm gonna, like... 
I don't know. What can you do with fingerprints? Frame her for murder? Can I come in and take a look around? Sure, I don't mind. Oh, I would not be letting some dude in my house. Goodbye. And then I'm coming right... Wait! Ma'am. Hey, I wanted to enter and... Why did you... You need to borrow some of my lamps. There we are. All right, ma'am. Thank you for... Hey, thanks for letting me in. Anyway, what are you up to? Just pooping? That's cool. Oh, yeah, shut the door so no freaks come in, am I right? Here, let's open this up. Lovely blinds. I've got some at my own place also. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. <laughs> She's done. She's dead for. Kashan Moon Work Rotation. Kitchen Hand. Why are you investigating them? Um, because, dude. Ma'am, keep the light on when the detectives are detecting, please. Ma'am, leave that on. Stop with that. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Anyway, why is she being investigated? Well, guys, it's quite simple. It is this note that I found uh, that says to find Winter Russ. So, wait. What is your name? Guys, this is some damn lady. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> this is some lady. This is not Winter Russ. Who is this? Huh. It seems that Winter Russ has changed her name to some other thing. I, no, I thought this was the lady we were supposed to be investigating. Ma'am, thank you for your time, but I'm not going to be needing anything else. Actually, you know... I've got an investigation that I really need this bandage for. So I might I might take that. What are you doing? Just have a pleasant evening, man. All right. Now am I insane? 1004 Why did I think I was a right originally? Dude, what happened was I saw this door, and I thought this was my objective, and it was locked, but then I saw this one, and I thought to myself, oh, I think I just went to the wrong door. Okay, I'm gonna, like, crawl through the vents or something to get to watch this. Right there. Ask her if she knows anything about that lady next door? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, why don't I just, like, see what this lady knows? Hey! Wake up! Ma'am, what, honestly, are you doing? Oh, guys, she must... She must have... I, I can't even think of a joke. Why are you doing this? Oh, you know what it is. It's that damn broken leg. She must have fallen off the 10th story like I did. <laughs> Just a quick power nap. This! Look! Guys, I think we might have found our way up. We learned this in detective school, guys. I'm gonna have to make a classic sink to Herman Miller on top of the toilet jump, which is, uh, we learned this pretty early. Should be a piece of cake. <sighs> All right, and up we go. We're in. Guys, I think we're in. Let's see who the hell wouldn't open the door for us. Battery? Alright, let's see what they're hiding in here. Oh my god. Code breaker? Oh no, we're gonna have to get rid of something. Oh, it's so difficult though, guys. We've got the painkillers that I can get anywhere. We've got the little tiny piece of trash I found on the ground and a band-aid. Not getting rid of the handcuffs. Don't even think about it. Hmm. I don't know which one to ditch. Just kidding. We're ditching that. Let's see what we can find out about this person. Videotape. Maybe we'll watch that. Maybe if they've got a... Uh, look, they've got multiple VHS tapes. Guys, let's see if they have a living room in this place. 
Sure enough, and they look they looks like they have a little TV too. Uh -huh. Guys, I think I figured out why they wouldn't answer the door. Looks like this poor bastard is dead. <laughs> Ooh, gun. I don't have any place to put a gun. I would have to drop, like... Guys, I would have to drop the CZ battery, I think. Which isn't... I mean, I don't know. Let's just look at the little thing first. Come on, you really want to drop this? Guys, this could be so useful. And here. Just so I won't regret dropping it. CZ battery. It really was such a great little couple minutes I spent with you, but... Well, at the end of the day, gotta have my inventory space. And I don't want to regret my decision later and come crawling back. Let's take the gun. No! Wait, guys, I can't, I can't shoot anybody! Uh, in the name of science... Anytime you want to make a little progress... You always gotta be willing to get a little experimental. The great detectives, the greatest detectives of our time were doing stuff like this. Should we rob... Her? <laughs> Guys, should we rob her before we leave? Yeah, I think we're gonna steal some stuff first. Two winter rust from unknown. Monday, January 2nd, 1979. New policy. Dear Mrs. W. Russ, thank you for recently contacting us to request a life insurance policy. <gasps> Unfortunately, our checks indicate that you do not meet the required social or economic requirements to be approved. Why not check out our range of alternatives? Guys! Winter Russ took out a life insurance policy and then killed herself so that she would get the money. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, we're being filmed! Oh. Do I pick it up? Well, it's too late. Hmm. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been shot to death with a pistol or revolver. I can determine the time of death is between 23.30 and 45. Good thing you threw the gun and microwaved it. Yeah. Just a little bit of my detecting prowess. Ch wait, check for recent calls by dialing 541 quadruple zero. Let's give this a shot. 5960177. Guys, this is a little freaky. All right, let's see who 5960177 is. Oh! <gasps> Tanish. In their apartment. 101 Heron Cascades. Guys, what do you say we go pay a murderer a visit? Yeah, I'm gonna find out what fingerprints she's got. What style of fingerprints she's got. Alright, take print. Okay, so she is fingerprint A, guys. She's got that weird little finger. Let's keep scanning here, guys. Not a single print in this whole damn house, huh? Oh, we've got one on the gun. So I'm thinking either she killed herself or someone stamped her little fingy on this gun. The silent alarm has been tripped. It means enforcers will be here. Get me out of here! Huh. Oh my god! Whew. That's the old bastards who work for security, guys. Yeah, these guys are stupid. They hate when people break into people's houses and steal things from them. These security bastards are real pieces of work. All right, let's get out of here. Are you telling me I've got to climb down 10 floors of this crap? Guys, I can't crawl through the vents for 10 floors. What the... What the devil? Look at all these people. Anyway, uh, wait, did they find my boxes? Wait, is that, did that dude just find my box? Guys, am I crazy or did that guy just find the box that I threw down there from the upper floor? Hey, uh, I'm looking for, what's her name? It's all them somewhere around Durham building. Guys, I gotta find a vent. I know she works here.
Bye. How much for a tour of this place? Sure, I can issue a temporary guest pass, but it'll cost you. How about 30 bucks? Two hour guest pass. All right, thank you. Guys, let's get in here and do some little snooping. Wait, did this just a computer lab? Or did I break into her actual work? Okay, wait, names. Endo, Nikolik, Fontanet, Dominguez, Gray, Del Rey, Lana? Oh, nope, E. Guys, I think that's Eddie Del Rey, maybe. The cousin. Okay, look for employee of the month. Enrique Del Rey! Dang it, dude! Ah, oh, I guessed Eddie. Wait, 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 wait! My brain just had a synapse connect. I wrote down what her position is at Porcelain and Sons. Winter Russ, head of HR. Yeah, dude, my brain got one more wrinkle on this beautiful day. Wait, Renworthy and Partners? Guys, I think I'm in the wrong damn building. What is this place? <laughs> oh, oh. What is that? Winter Rose? Is that it? Russ? Ah! Guys, they just shapeshifted before my... Oh, whatever. That's Enrique Del Rey! Oh my god, I'm such a fan of Lana. Um... Hey, Enrique, my man. Anyway, I don't need to be here, Enrique. So... <laughs> we'll shoot on a toot, guys. I think we are in the wrong damn building. Maybe this place? <laughs> the door code to my office has been reset to 02090. Oh, baby. We're in Porcelain and Sons, guys. Winter Russ. Winter Russ. Wait. Well, I'll be damned, guys. Looks like we might have found our, uh, our corpse, our cadaver. It's not respectful to call him a corpse, guys. For all of you aspiring detectives out there, try not to ever do that. Um, oh my god. Let's make a bet. What do you guys vote? Pick a number between one and six. If you guess correctly, you get one wish. Be very strong with your answer. All right, four it is. Good luck. Huh? Oh! I found, I found it. How do I get up there? <laughs> Can anyone get a good read on it? It's not one. It's not five. It's not six. Guys, this could be four. Are you kidding me? Wait. Here we go. Okay, this is how I'll do it. Ready? Pause. Few screenshots. Oh, I've got the perfect screenshot. One second, one second. Enhancing. Oh my lord. That is a four. Well, congratulations. Be thinking about what you want. I'll give you guys maybe a day or two to decide. We're trying here. Oh damn it, this stupid machines. Technology. Ah. I'm coming back when it's- ah! Oh, the, the whole damn building hates me, dude. It's like Monster House. Okay, I gotta- I think I'm just gonna wait until nighttime and then come back and sneak in when it's dark. Ah! <laughs> I've been shot. Oh, good thing it pierced my ear and I'm fine. I was just coughing because it scared me. Wait a second, guys. See what this door says? Security cameras. What if I shut the cameras off? Dang it. Hmm. 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 
Okay, guys, we're not getting in that way. Alright, whatever. Wait, I... I locked myself in! No! I just locked myself in! What do I do? Ah, where? The stupid... <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Alright, you know what? We're gonna go investigate old what's his face. That's how we'll see. I don't care about her work. I'm gonna go investigate this dude. Hello, plunger. I think this is our guy. Wait a second, guys. Wait just a damn second. I think this is our guy. Um, now, I could, technically just uh talk to the old person inside there but i think i might go the vent route nope there's cameras guys i can't do anything illegal i'm gonna get in so much trouble i want to do this by the book sir you're under arrest for the murder of R R winter rose unknown citizen this is our guy i think let me pin this okay i'm gonna try to get some information out of this guy Yo, buddy! Oh, I blew it. I blew it. Hey, can you come back? <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to do that. Perhaps you can take my humble apology... I gotta find a different way in. He's locking the damn place down. Guys, I blew it. I'm kind of worried this guy knows where I'm at, but it's fine. I'll wait for him to forget about me. So we gotta get some dirt on this guy. It really sucks that I uh, accidentally threw a plunger and hit him, but you know, we take the wins and the losses. Sometimes more losses than wins. It's okay. Oh, gross. He's taking a dookie. Don't look. Go explore. <gasps> he was still in the bathroom. That whole time he was still in the bathroom. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't suspect a thing. I was very quiet when I climbed out of here. Okay, he went in that room. I think he's probably going to bed for the night. We gotta find some identifying information about this guy. Name tag? Oh, oh, what, what? Who's this? They're cleaning the bathroom. There's two people in here. We gotta find both IDs now. Okay, here's his wallet, guys. Let's inspect to see if he's got any uh, evidence, like money or anything. Um, organ donor card. Oh, guys, good news is A plus uh, blood type, which means we could probably get, fetch a pretty penny. I think that's the one that anyone can use, right? Probably sell some of his blood. Nobody. It's not anybody. Ah! Me. <laughs> okay, I think I stole medicine. Perfume. I need medicine. I need to steal. Wait. Leave me be. Got it. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is our apartment. 101 Heron Cascades. You'll note that I have a key already, and it's because of account of the fact that I stole the key from in there. Um, those guys are gonna recognize me if I try to go in and talk, so I think I might have to, like, bust into someone else's house. Like, look, look, I'll just play it by the books. 
I'll just say, hey, I need to come in because there's an investigation I'm doing, and then I'll climb into their vent and slip into the uh, other apartment. Open up! Open up! Open up! Open the door! Hey. Oh, uh, see you uh, didn't bother to put any damn clothes on. Listen, I'm uh, doing an investigation. Can I come in and take a look around? I don't let people off the street into my home. Okay, well, I'm actually a detective, so you should probably let me. Oh, you don't let people off the street in your home? Come on! What do you think? What do you think I'm trying to do here? I'm a detective. Anyway, can I have some spare change? I'm not giving you nothing. Okay, fine. Screw you. You know what? I'm jotting you down as jerk. Don't ever, don't ever talk to this guy if you see him. I'm gonna show all my friends. Look, you don't even have any vents in here anyway. I don't need you. Big idiot. Total jerk. <laughs> Ventless. I just closed it out. <laughs> Loser. Okay. We need to figure out a way to get into a vent. Boom. Bingo. Alright, here we go. We get back into the apartment. And we figure out who we're dealing with. Guys, I think we are lost. Where are we? <laughs> Time! <laughs> no, please, you don't. Guys, don't look. Just shut your eyes for a minute. Where's the vent? Where'd that vent go? Where did I drop in at? Please, for the love of God, where did I drop in? They probably can't get you if you're on the bed. Can you stop? I'm trying- Ow! What? Alright, lesson learned. What a frightening experience that would be, dude. Someone hops out of your vent, sleeps in your bed, you break their leg, visibly break their leg, and they hobble back into the vent and leave without saying a word to you. What? That is- what is that? Oh my god, I thought it was a corpse. Guys, this was a really bad mistake. Um, so I got in from when I was standing here, I was able to teleport to that, but I didn't fully think this through because when I got back in, there was no way to teleport back to that spot. So I kind of just, you know, screwed up there, but it's okay, guys. We'll, get, we'll, we'll solve this, we'll figure this out. Look for vents, look for vents. Don't. Day, my good! Ouch! Ouch! It's okay, it's not too- it's not too late. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I, you know me. You know me. I don't pay a hospital bill. I don't do that. Mm, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Why do they have security mounted turrets guarding the bed? This seems counterintuitive. Well, actually, they're giving themselves business. <gasps> Guys. Guys. I go and I find this room in the apartment 
that we're trying to search. I click the breakers off, I sneak up with no cameras, and I beat the snot out of those guys. This is how we do it. We beat them up? Well, I guess we don't have to beat them up. Really, whatever we're feeling. If I get in there and I'm really feeling mad, I might beat them up a little, but otherwise I could just see myself getting in and getting the intel and getting out. All right, so we gotta shut the cameras off on this floor. There it is, do you see it? Play it chill, play it calm, play it cool. What that? Why? Okay, well now they can't leave. That'll work. Alright, let's try to just see if they'll, uh... Let me just not. Okay, we'll start over. We'll pretend that we don't even know these guys. They probably don't remember me. Hello! There's the plunger, guys. They didn't even pick up the plunger I threw them. Um, I play it cool, guys. I act like I don't know his name. Mind your own business. Okay, f you, Gabriel. Can I come in and take a look around? Not a chance. Do you know this person? I saw them somewhere around Durham building. Could you provide your fingerprints for an investigation? Not giving you nothing. Okay, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna break the hell into their house and I'm gonna scan for fingerprints. Do you know this person? <laughs> That's my neighbor. Dara de Groot. Loves music. Yeah, well, he's a real bastard. Did you know that? Do you know this person? I know somebody with that first name. Okay. Tell me more. Tanish Middlebrooks. Okay. They're here right now. Okay. Now we're talking. Now, we creep in. And we hide in their vent. Actually, let me do some fingerprints. I gotta find some dirt on Tanish. Okay, please. Okay, good. Home bed. You think he heard that? I don't know how he didn't see me. Oh. He's at the sink. That's Tanish. That's Tanish. How do I like? I, that's him, right? That's gotta be him. I need to somehow verify that it's him. Like, maybe I could talk to him. No, he he would he would think that's it's terrifying if someone climbed out of the vent and said Tanish. Wait for him to go to his bathroom cycle again. Okay. Tba. All right, Tanish. All right, Tanish. Hey, listen to me. Let me find his wallet before the other dude comes in here. How do I take question him or something? <laughs> Photo. Okay, this is what the dude looks like. Okay, look, I pin this. I think that could be Tanish right there. Okay, I need to use this opportunity to like, just search the house. Pin this. What is it? Credit card. Info. Intel. This is Tanish. This is Tanish. Hold your fingers still. Type G fingerprints. Oh no, guys. Oh. Uh. Okay. I accidentally released them. Did not mean to do that. Guys, they've got type G fingerprints. So they weren't the one who did the gun. Wait, no, we already know that stinking What's-Her-Face did the gun. Winter Russ. What made you think this person was involved? Because they were the last person that was called on the phone. And guys, you know what? I'm starting to think this might have just been a friend of the uh, deceased. This entire lead that I have over here is just based on the assumption that the person who called knows what's going on. And guys, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this might not have anything to do with it.